Five Los Angeles City Council members are speaking out against a proposed $24.6 billion merger between grocery chains Kroger and Albertsons. Council members Tracy Park, Heather Hutt, John Lee, Hugo Soto Martinez and Tim McCosker held a news conference today voicing their concerns about what would be the largest supermarket merger in history. That's right. They're making their complaint official, introducing a city council resolution opposing the plans. Today, they laid out why. This proposed merger isn't just anti-competitive, risking higher prices for Angelinos who are already struggling to keep up with the costs of living and groceries and daily essentials, but it also undermines workers and communities across our entire city. The council members say 14 stores across Los Angeles would be impacted by the merger, and there's no guarantee they would remain open. CNS Wholesale Grocers, the company behind the merger, has said all employees are expected to be able to maintain their employment if the merger is finalized. Kroger has said no facilities would be closed and that customers would benefit from lower prices and more choices. Some people like to stick to their habits when it comes to grocery shopping. Now, if the merger goes through, there will be changes, and people in one Westchester neighborhood say that would be a shame. KCAL's Tom Waite shows us why they're so attached. Avon's in Westchester isn't just a grocery store, it's a community institution. My wife said, go get strawberries. I'm here to get strawberries. <laughs> Tucked into the neighborhood, this supermarket feels more mom and pop. And I see all my neighbors here. It's all walking distance for most of us. You come in here, you see everybody your kids went to school with, their parents. Gosh, yeah. it would be a shame for the community to lose it. The future of this bonds on 80th Street is in question because of a proposed merger between Kroger and Albertsons. In order to meet regulators' demands, Albertsons, which owns Vons, would have to sell off a number of stores, leaving the fate of this Vons in limbo. Rachel Johnston has lived in Westchester for 45 years. For her, this Vons is more than a store. Just be sad to see another uh, pharmacy or something that there's just tons of that we don't really need. Like many communities in Southern California, Westchester has seen housing prices soar, along with gentrification. Change here seems inevitable to some locals. But that doesn't make the possibility of losing a community staple any easier. Jacqueline Childs has lived here since 1986. The way things are growing in Westchester, it doesn't surprise me because so much has um, grown up in this town in the last few years that it doesn't really surprise me. But it's a little disappointing. I have five kids and raised them all here and this was the store to go to. Neighbors here have a message for the folks in the corporate offices who will decide this store's future. Just come here and check out the neighborhood before you decide to do anything with the store. But will that message be heard? In Westchester, Tom Waite, KCAL News.